Uh, might affect you most, maybe changing based on where you happen to live. Yeah, case here at three is Dirk Verdorn, meteorologist Dirk Verdorn, joining us now to break down all the recent storms and how they have actually played a part in the seasonal allergies mm -hmm. this season. Dirk. Yeah, I think it was about two weeks ago I showed the satellite picture of California and compared it to last year. In the satellite picture, you can just see the difference of how brown and dry it was last year, this time of year compared to how green it is this time of year because of all the rain that we've been seeing. And, and that plays a big role in the allergy count. So let's go ahead and take a look at our numbers right now. Again, uh, with those uh, green conditions and the colder temperatures, that's going to help to extend the growth of the plants and allow for more allergy problems. But right now, trees in the moderate category, we have ash, alder, and poplar putting out the most pollens. Grasses and weeds currently are low, but again, grasses, uh, they're growing like crazy right now. And so I'm, and when they start putting out the pollen, that's gonna be a problem. And molds, because it's been so wet, also a problem. But uh, yeah, the forecast is it's gonna be a, a long season, allergy season, because of all the rain that we've received, and especially as those temperatures start to eventually warm up. That's the latest, now back over to you.